Hey, what's up, man? Alright, so I opened up my PS3 for you. Um, I was pretty much going to suggest everything you already did, but there are there is one thing that I, I believe might be the case that I don't know if you tried, that you didn't, you didn't say you tried, so I'm going to assume you didn't. And uh, this is probably what the problem is. If it's not, then uh, I really don't know. But uh, hopefully this helps you, man. Cause I really want to see you get this thing up and running. Um, Alright, so after you open all this crap up or whatever, unscrew this right here. Which you probably already did, but unscrew that. Pull that screw out. And then after you do that, the laser assembly will come right out. So just go ahead and pull this off like that. Pull it upside, bring it upside down. Be careful though. All right, now what the problem I think it is is this right here, this white thing with these teeth right here, because these teeth um, dull out a lot very easily. Um, I know a lot of people that. These things dulled out on them, um, and that thing. What I think the grinding noise is. I think these teeth are grinding up on this uh, this railing here, and also you can see mine has a lot of grease, um, a lot of white lube. So you want to make sure this is definitely lubed up well. Um, you know, I don't know what you're using if you're using the right stuff, but if if I don't if I didn't have it, I would probably just use like Vaseline or WD maybe at a, at a, a last resort, but. Lube this up, and uh, make sure that these teeth are, there's two teeth in there, and they, they come up uh, pretty high, like, uh, you know, they, they need to grip that, that shaft, that, uh, you know, the thing with the rivets. If, uh, if they're not, you could try to bend this just ever so slightly, just try to bend it down to, uh, to make up for the, 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 you know, the part that dulled a little bit, because they're not going to be dull completely, but there, there is a chance that they're dull a little bit so you might want to try bending this down and you could take it off by uh, unscrewing this screw right here you could take this piece off completely bend it a little bit and uh, make sure there's nothing no garbage in here like uh, grease or hair or anything like that um, you can also try using a razor blade and you know um you know just try clean making it more you know catchable onto what do whatever you got to do to try to make this catch on to this because I think that's what that noise is that I'm hearing I think it's not because this thing is spinning and it's just hitting this and it's not catching so uh, make sure this is clean and bend it down a little bit if you have to definitely take it off the laser though um, and then bend it down just just a little you know don't crack it or anything but just take your time and uh, try to uh, you know bend it down a little to try to make it catch on to this because I, th I really believe that's the noise that I'm hearing is this thing spinning onto this plastic piece right here. So you try that. If that doesn't work, um, well, I don't know. I mean, I get my hands on a lot of these, uh, a lot of these PS2s. So, you know, if I, if I, because I do a lot of repairs and stuff for this guy at the flea markets, and he usually has a bunch of these. So, if uh, what I can do is, if if he has one that's broken or whatever, I'll either pull the drive out. I'll send that to you. Um, or, you know, you can, uh, you can take the, uh, the whole unit if, if you want, you know, I, you know, I don't want you to be out of a PS2, that kind of sucks, it's not worth, you know, getting a whole new PS2 over if I can just send you one, so, if I can get my hands on one, I'll talk to you about it, you can just pay for the shipping, I'll, I'll get it over to you, but, um, before we go that route, just make sure that this is, uh, make sure that the, these are good, right here, so double check this with the shaft right here and make sure that it's, it's catching. Um, let me just see, this. let me just try to show you this here. I'm just gonna put the camera down for one minute. Like basically, if you got your unit hooked up right here, and you just you just you you just move this yourself, what happens? Do you hear that grinding noise, or do you do you see like see how mine is caught on there nice? And when I move it, when I force it up and down, it 
it doesn't make that grinding noise. You know, I can I can feel the teeth catching on this rod. Now, what do you do when you move this thing up and down? What what happens? Do you uh do you does it move like that, or do you does it does it just like you know does it, does it move like this and shit like you know? So I think that's the problem right there. So try try that tip and get back to me. Let me know if that works. All right, man. Good luck. Just let me know.